Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and welcome to Purse Sale Friday. So in addition to purses, I have a few pairs of shoes and we are going to open up an America's Thrift Supply five piece purse box. So first we're gonna go over some rules and then we will get, we will get into the clearance section then the thrifted section, then the shoes, then the unboxing. So I will be showing these instructions throughout the video. However, I'm only going to explain them one time. So um, here they are. Okay, so first things first, you have to email me with a purchase request. So if you see something in the video that you would like to purchase, please email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. Please provide me with a timestamp, a screenshot, brief description of the items you're interested in. Please make sure you're as descriptive as possible so I can invoice you for the correct item. Um, I do invoice through PayPal. You do not have to have PayPal, um, but I, I will still email you an invoice and you can pay as a guest with any debit or credit card. Payment is due immediately. So um, you're emailing me your request. You will get an invoice within 30 minutes, if that. <laughs> um, payment is due immediately. If something comes up, I allow up to 48 hours to send payment, but you please just have to let me know that. Um, let's see, what else? Um, shipping costs are not included in the prices that you hear in the video, so that will be additional, and that is based on USPS pricing or UPS, whichever one uh, will be cheaper for you. Usually it's about $10, depending on how many purses you're getting or the size and weight and stuff like that. Um, if it's something lightweight, It'll be between like five and eight dollars, ten dollars. I think like twelve dollars is max. If it's super heavy and you're across the country, I'm in New York. Um, sold list. That is the most important part of this video. All my videos and the instructions is to please check the sold list in the comment section. Okay, everyone can see the comment section. If you can see the comment section, you can see the sold list. So if you scroll up on the video, it'll be right there in the comment section at the top. I pin it so it will be the first comment all the time. So when you're done watching the video, refresh it. Go out of the video, come back in, or if you're on a tablet, phone, or computer, you can press the refresh button. It's like a little arrow in a circle, and it will refresh the page, and you'll get to see the most up-to-date sold list. I'm not tolerating people getting mad at me because they want something and it wasn't on the sold list, but now it is. I do get emails, a lot of them, <laughs> so I have to answer them in the order that I get them in. So somebody may have just snagged that before you. Um, you know, I, I have to be fair. I'm not going to skip around and pick certain people to answer emails. I go in order from when they were received. If you want to order more than one purse, that's perfectly fine. You can email me with every order that you would like. So if you're watching the video and you want this purse, you could email me and say that you're still watching, I want this purse, still watching, I want that purse. And then when you're done, just let me know that you're done and I will send out the invoice to you. Um, that way you can have a better chance of getting the purses that you want. Um, so the sold list, like I said, you'll know if something avail is available if you check the list, but you have to refresh it. You can refresh it as many times as you want and you will see it updating with every sale. It will be pending at first because I have to send somebody an invoice and I have to wait for them to pay in order for me to put it on the sold list. So if you see something on pending, you can email me to be back up if that person doesn't pay. Um, so that is really like the most important part of my ordering instructions for every video on my channel is to please check that sold list and refresh as often as you can um, so you can see it updating and you can see if what you are looking for is still available or not. Um, all my prices are firm. Um, I offer you guys as my subscribers the discounted pricing compared to what I would list it for on eBay and Poshmark. 
So um, the items that don't make it, um, that are still available after the clearance, they go online, okay? And um, if I ever have clothing, shoes, um, those do not go to clearance. They have just the one shot and one shot only. So if you see any shoes like today, um, grab them while you can because I will not bring them back to clearance. Um, so also, I think that's really it actually. So um, I will put up the order instructions, you know, multiple times. So, but let's in the meantime, get started with the clearance section. Um, so these are the purses from last week and then they didn't sell. So we're gonna lower the price a little bit and hope to find them a new home. So first up is the Audrey Brooke. I definitely thought this one would be a winner chicken dinner, but I guess not. <laughs> so we're gonna lower the price and hope that somebody will love her. So it is a black leather crossbody. It has this beautiful um, calf hair. And I don't know if this, if I mentioned it in the last one, but there is a teeny tiny little mark right there and a teeny tiny mark right there. Um, but other than that, this bag is in fabulous condition. So you've got the um, cheetah print calf hair on the front. Um, it is black leather. You have your Audrey Brooke hang tag right here. And um, oh, you open it up like so, and you have a pocket here, and then a pocket here in the back. And also, you have this zipper section that you can use if you would like, and it is like a little wallet section where you can have some coin if you want, and some cards. And there's your Audrey Brooke with the um, genuine leather. So there's that section, it's like a little zip around, and then you have the main compartment here with the snap closure. He just realized I gave him a treat over there. <laughs> okay, silver tone hardware, excellent condition. It just had the little, the teeny mark there and up here. So for the Audrey Brooke, we're going to drop this one to $35. Next up, we had the Everlane Tote. This one is like a canvas material, and it does not say that the straps are leather, even though they do look like it, so I'm not gonna say that they're leather, but it is a gray tote um, with the black handles by Everlane. So it's really great for the gym, the beach, work, school. It's in really great condition. There's hardly any wear on the corners. Um, it's a nice big tote, shoulder bag, double strap. And then the inside you have a zipper closure and it's one compartment on the inside. And you have a pocket and your one compartment. So very clean on this Everlane tote and we're going to drop it to only $25. Next up, we had the Mark by Marc Jacobs. This is a faux leather. Um, it is actually really cool though. It's like a beige and black snake embossed um, faux leather crossbody. It's in great condition, a few little tiny flaws. This is the one that I believe that you can loop, like double the strap through these loops and then reclip it so it can be a shoulder bag because this is not adjustable. Nice, big, beautiful gold tone hardware in excellent condition. You have the nameplate right there, really pretty. It looks like a, like a gold bar, like a piece of, piece of gold candy or something. So there is very little wear to the corner on each side. Other than that, on the outside, she's in good shape. Okay, nice uh, smaller size. There is a zipper closure on the top. And then the inside just had some minor um, discoloration like up, up on the top here. Um, I did clean it out as best as I could. So it's very little discoloration and a couple little um, spots down at the bottom there. But you have your two slips and zip. Okay, so for the um, faux leather Marc Jacobs, Marc by Marc Jacobs, $30. Next up, we had the Francis Valentine. This one was so cool. Very structured, very thick black leather. It is a crossbody, 
You can um, shorten it uh, to be about that long, so a, a longer shoulder bag. It has like a light gold tone hardware. There is wear to the front hardware here. You can see on the high point there. Um, it has white stitching, very structured. There's your Francis Valentine. This is a very expensive company. Um, no pocket on the back. So very good condition otherwise. Um, top handle, you have the um, flap that opens here and you have a, a couple different compartments. So you have the back, you have this major set, major compartment here, and then you have a little compartment up front. Okay, really cute and it is suede in there and there are a couple little marks, but nothing serious. So really cute bag, um, there is wear to that side of the button too. Um, but other than that, she's in really great shape. It's a really great, nice, small, structured crossbody. Francis Valentine, $50, five zero. Next up, we had the Michael Kors. I believe this one was called the Vivian. It is um, leather and suede woven. It is a, um, I guess it could be a shoulder bag crook of the arm bag. It does come with the crossbody or shoulder strap that is removable. So you got the brown suede and then you got like the black and beige leather snake print. You have two tassels over there. There is just a little bit of some darkening of the suede, but other than that, it's in pretty great shape. There's your Michael Kors. It has just a little bit of wrinkling in the corners, but nothing is like Oops, as I almost drop it in my face. Nothing is like really bad. A couple little spots right there. Um, handles are in really great condition. And the inside has this insert here. So you can either have nothing and just have the woven or you can keep the insert in there because it does unsnap and you can take it out. So it, all, it has snaps all the way around. Um, so the inside of that little snap section has three compartments and it is very clean. So you have your zip and slips with your Michael, Michael Kors. You have your middle zip section and then the other side has some slip pockets. So absolutely gorgeous, Michael Kors. And we're gonna drop this one down to $70. These are listed for $100 and over. So we're gonna drop it down to 70. Um, next up is the Isabella Ray. So I did buy some straps for this because I know the majority of my subscribers need like a shoulder or crossbody strap. And this one did not come with it, even though that this bag is like in like new condition. It is a red leather, pebbled leather structured handbag by Isabella Ray. It is in like new condition. Um, the inside has an insert that you can unsnap if you want. Um, you have a pocket on each side. And then this insert is a zipper section. All right, and then there's your branding right there. So I have two choices for you for straps. Um, I did have this bag at $65 last week. I'm going to keep it at $65, but I'm going to include a strap if you would like. The first one I thought would go nicely was a nice snake print. So it does match the hardware, gunmetal hardware. So we can play a little bit for a second so you can see what this looks like. This one is a thicker um, strap. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can adjust it to be a crossbody. All right, so that looks pretty cool, right? And it is like a, it's like a, it has like a little tint of like a, like a really light green almost, but it's, I think it looks nice. Uh-huh. Mail lady already came, so I don't know what he's barking at. He probably just saw a car drive by. So we have that option, or we have some cheetah print. This one is a little bit thinner, 
but it does have the same gunmetal hardware as the bag, so it will match. Um, so this one is, I actually think this one looks a little bit better. It has the beige, black, and white cheetah print. And again, it matches perfectly, and you can wear it as a shoulder bag or crossbody. So you have your choice, or if you want a solid black one, I can get that one for you too. I can do like a leather, I can do um, a canvas like this. So you'll have your choice. If you want the black, I would just have to order it, but you can choose either the cheetah or the snake at the moment, and it's 65, um, same as last week, but this time I'm including a strap. So there we go. All right. Next up, we have the Calvin Klein. So this one, I love the color combo on this one. It is faux leather, but it is structured. It is a nice um, shoulder bag. It has gold tone hardware. You have your little hang tag here. Um, you have the CK everywhere, black, beige, and purple. You have a pocket on each side. This bag is in excellent condition. This would be a great work bag. Um, like if you want have like a um, small laptop or iPad or tablet or something, will definitely fit in here. You have three sections, the middle being zippered. And there is your branding with your zip pocket, very clean. Your middle zip section. And then the other side is, uh, has your slips. So this bag, and oh, and this one had that mark on the back. I did get it off, so it is good to go. Excellent, excellent condition, and we're dropping the Calvin Klein to only $30. Really, really nice. Straps are excellent. Next up, we have the Coach. This one, um, I don't think anyone ever used it. It's in really great condition. It is the black and gray. It does have a crossbody or shoulder bag shoulder strap you can adjust it silver tone hardware you have the fabric canvas strap with the patent leather trim uh, you have your two <clears throat> your two hang tags in patent leather and silver leather the front here has your stripe with your coach right up here excellent condition on this one you have a back pocket um, some patent leather trim, and then you have your zipper closure. And the inside has your Creed with your zip pocket that still has the paper on it, and two slips on that side. Excellent condition all the way around on the gray and black coach. And we're dropping this one down to $45. That's a steal for this excellent of condition, 45. Um, next up is the CL Whiting. Um, I really shouldn't even be dropping the price on this one because it is. these are going for so much money online. But I'm gonna give you guys one more chance to grab this beauty. It is CL Whiting. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. It cannot be adjusted. Um, if you need a measurement, let me know. It is black leather and it is embossed with this leaf print, brown leather, and then you have two back slip pockets. It is new with tag and in new condition. Um, so it says, I'm just going to give you the cliff notes because I did read it all last week. So if you want the full version, you just refer to last week's video. So these don't actually have actual leaves. They are hand tooled using individual stamps in the shape of leaves. Um, so then the hide is cut into smaller workable pieces for staining and then sewed into fashionable works of art. So each bag is completely different and completely unique. So um, the inside here is a zip closure and it is all leather on the interior as well. So you have some leather card slots and then you have that little um, key fob that actually does come off. So it snaps on and it does come off as well. 
So really cute, definitely unique CL whiting. These are going for anywhere between 175 and 250 online. I'm gonna drop this one down to 75 and that's it. It's gonna go, I'm gonna list it on eBay or Posh for probably around 150. So grab it for half that price. <laughs> okay, then we had the Spikes and Sparrows. Um, I did sell um, a lot of those. I still have a lot of the wallets left. We are going to drop the price like really good for you guys this week. Um, so the first two I have are the Shopper Totes. These are the Dakota. They are brand new with tag. Um, they are genuine leather, Spikes and Sparrow right here beautiful thick leather um i did notice though that there is a scratch right there um it's probably happened in the packaging um and then so this one has the, the longer top handles and it comes with the shoulder and crossbody strap that's adjustable so on the front here you have a zipper pocket on the back you have a zipper pocket and then the interior is a zipper closure oops i just threw it over there it comes with the dust bag that i just threw with the <laughs> with the paper but it comes with the dust bag it has a little slot for an ipad if you would like to use that and then you have your slips so that is the dakota in gray and I'm going to drop this one. I had it at $80 last week. These are going for between $140 and $220 on their website. They have a couple different styles and colors and whatnot. I am going to drop this one down to only $50. I had it at $80 last week, $50 this week. Grab it while you can. It does have just a teeny little mark right there. Um, that one and then I have the same one but in a brandy color so it is the same exact thing so I'm not gonna undo all of this it has the top handles and the crossbody strap or shoulder strap and it comes with the dust bag same style with the pocket on the front and back new with tag this one I noticed does have two scratch or a couple little scratches on the front here Remember, this type of leather is like that Portland, Portland leather where it's going to darken over time. You're going to probably see a couple little nicks here and there as you use it. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous, thick, substantial leather. I love it. So remember, it does have the two shoulder straps and the removable crossbody and shoulder strap as well, adjustable as well. Dropping this one down to 50 also. This is like less than half price from what they have on their website. So grab that one. That's the Dakota in Brandy, $50, five zero. Then we had some wallets left over. So the first, where'd I put those back here? So the first uh, ones that I had left were the Avery. So that is the smaller one. This is the Avery in dark brown. I actually really like this. I might end up keeping one for me. Um, you have a little pocket in the front. These are all new in the box. New in the box. Look at all this space. All this credit cards. You have a slot here. Slot. Zipper slot. Regular slot. Slot. More card slots. All right. So this is the Avery in dark brown. It is RFID protected. So you get it in the box. And um, I have three of these in dark brown, just like that. So I am dropping these down to only $30 a piece. Brand new in the box. This is the Avery in dark brown. I have three at $30. Then I have the Brooklyn. So I have the Brooklyn in dark brown and in gray so here is the gray i have two of them in gray okay you have a bag zip pocket you have the top this is rfid protected as well all those slots on both sides here 
Okay, this one looks like it might have a couple little marks here. So you know what, the gray one I'm gonna mark down. So I had 35 on these. I'll do 25 for the gray, all right? So 25 for the gray, because it had a couple marks on it. And then I have um, one in dark brown. And this one does not come with the um, box. It just comes with the bag, but they are RFID protected as well. And it's the same thing, but just in dark brown. And this one will be 35 since it is in like perfect condition. So yeah, so 35 on the Brooklyn in dark brown. I do have one in gray that doesn't have the scratches. So that'll be 35. This one with the scratches will be 25. So just make sure you let me know which you want. And then we have some men's wallets available still. I have three left of the men's wallets. These are in brandy, which is the lighter brown. Okay, and they are RFID protected as well. So you have all of this, you have all of that. And then you have two card slots, I mean cash slots. And then you have like a secret card compartment right there. Okay. So I have three left of these. They are RFID protected as well. These are the men's wallets in Brandy, $25. Father's Day is coming up. Think maybe early Christmas gifts. Hey, you never know, right? Okay, then we also had the Coach Wallet. This is the vintage black leather Coach Wallet. It has a back zipper pocket. Brass hardware, a little bit of residue down there, nothing serious. Really nice condition. It uh, It is a little like, like poofed out, like someone had a lot of stuff in there. Um, but otherwise, like structure wise and corners and everything, it's in really great shape. Pop open the button here and you have, you can probably put your checkbook in there. You have some card slots, maybe some cash up there and your coach little heat stamp is right there. It's kind of hard to see. But this one I'm dropping down to only $35. Coach black leather wallet, 35. Okay, then if you guys caught, I did a thread up name brand handbag rescue unboxing earlier this week. Um, I only sold one thing from that video, which was the wallet. So I'm going to include those bags that um, didn't sell in today's clearance video. So the first one up is this beautiful Kate Spade. This It is showing true to color. So it's like a teal, like a green blue leather. Um, it is a crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it to be shorter. So it would probably look a little bit like that on the strap. So it's a little bit longer of a shoulder bag. You have the beautiful spade in gold tone with the little tassel. Um, the corners on this bag are great. It was just the interior that I had to do some cleanup with. The back you have a pouch pocket. It's a little dirty down there. I did clean this one out. It had like a makeup explosion in it. It still is a little bit stained, but it's way better than it was. So there's your Kate Spade with your zipper pocket and your slip, one big slip. So a couple little marks down there still, but otherwise really great condition on the Kate Spade teal. And we are going to drop this one down to $40, four zero. And then of course, once your stuff is in it, it'll kind of poof out. So 40 bucks on that one. Then we had that Kate Spade in a beautiful like lilac -y purple. How cute is this color for the spring? So this is a leather Kate Spade. It is a crossbody. You can probably shorten it to sh shoulder, but it'll be a longer shoulder bag. Um, gold tone hardware strap is in really great condition. Um, you have a zipper pocket here on the front. No pockets on the back, but it does have some corner wear. OK, 
okay? Not too much in the back, mainly just the front corners. And then the inside is a zipper closure. It, it smells a little bit like perfume, like very mild perfume, but it's not bad at all, and it's pretty clean in there. All right, there's your zipper pocket and your slips. So just a little corner wear is the main issues. Um, beautiful purple, like a lilac -y lavender. Kate Spade, I'm dropping this one down to only 30, okay, you guys? So grab that one today. And then we had the Michael Kors, the Michael Kors Hobo. This is a Hobo shoulder bag. It is black leather. I did um, clean this one up and fix up the corners. It was very dry and um, needed some conditioning. So now it is good to go. There's your Michael Kors right there. Um, there is wear to the silver tone hardware. Okay, but the corners are, corners and bottom came out excellent. Okay, there's the other side. So there is wear to the hardware. Your strap is in good condition. It is a strict shoulder bag. Um, you have a zipper closure on the top. Nice, thick leather thick substantial leather and the inside is that like linen-y canvas there's your michael by michael kors your zip and slips your little key fob and more slips so there is a little bit of discoloration along the top a couple little marks nothing serious um and other than that she's pretty good so Minor things going on with this Michael Kors, and we're gonna do the hobo for 40, dropping it down to 40. All right, and then last from that lot, I got this huge Michael Kors tote. I mean, this is very, very large. Um, this is a red Saffiano leather with gold tone hardware. Um, the straps on it, everything on this bag is in excellent condition. There was just a couple marks on the inside. So you got the corners are in really great shape. The back, other side, bottom. Handles are amazing, no cracking anywhere. Um, then the inside, you have a really big middle section. You have the back section, which has your Michael by Michael Kors, zip and slips. You have a spot right there. The middle section is very clean. Maybe a couple little spots in that far corner. As you can see, it's not anything major. And then this other side, you have a big slip pocket and more slips, and that's where you have your main stain is right down there. But overall, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clean bag. You can definitely fit an, a laptop in here um, it's probably like 20, 20 ish inches across the top. I can um, measure it for you if you would like. So I had this, this is red now, so I, it might look a little orange on the screen. It is red. Like when you think of red, it's red. This is red, <laughs> bright red. So I had it at 65 in my video. I will be dropping this down today to 50, five zero. Oh, right. Now, I did have one bag in my office that I had not listed on eBay or Posh yet. Um, so I will bring it back today um, to see if anybody wants it. I'm going to drop it down significantly to see if I can get it a new home before I list it on Posh and eBay for probably around 100 So it is the Leah Numa. So you guys have seen this before. It is genuine leather, soft, soft leather, wove, big woven pieces like that. It is in excellent condition. It has the top handles. It also has the removable and adjustable crossbody and shoulder strap. Um, it is in such nice condition. It says Leah Numa, made in Italy, right there. Handles are great. There is like a little bit of roughness to the edge coat um i i think it's i think it's in good shape it might 
you know, but just so you know, it does have a little bit of roughness and some um, waviness to it up at the top of the handles. Uh, then the inside is suede and you have a big zipper section in the center. So with this bag, it's all one compartment and then you have this middle section that you, that's like, you can pick it up. <laughs> um, you can probably take it out. I don't, maybe not, but you have your full suede interior and then where's the here's your um, branding information and then you have the big zippered middle so really big bag if you like a big bag but this is beautiful leather Leah Numa I had when I was offering this on my channel I had the lowest I offered it was $65 I will offer this today for 45 all right, um, there. This company goes for over a hundred dollars online, so grab it today for forty-five as a last chance. <laughs> All right, that wraps up the clearance section. So I'm going to put on the screen the ordering instructions, and then we will continue with the thrifted purse section. Okay, so most importantly, make sure you guys are looking at that sold list. Refresh the video when you're done watching so you can see the most up-to-date list. All right, so um, you'll know if something's available, if it's on the list. If you ask me for something and by the time I get to your email, it's sold, I do apologize, but I go in order of the emails that I receive. Okay, first up, we are going to start with a purse Italian leather purse Vittoria Napoli Vittoria Napoli this beautiful handbag you can wear it as a shoulder if you would like um, again I can get you a strap if you would like this has gunmetal hardware so if you want one of the ones I actually have two of these um, doesn't really go with the blue but if you like it I can do that and if somebody doesn't grab the cheetah I can do that one with this one or I can find you a different one if you would like um, but it has this beautiful blue trim even if you did a blue um, strap with it that would look amazing and bring out the blue but this is in amazing condition <clears throat> There are no outside pockets. It has gunmetal hardware. You can actually remove the strap if you wanted to put on a completely different one. The inside has two compartments. They both are snap closure. The first one here is where you have your branding and along the top here is suede. So there's your Vittoria Napoli made in Italy, genuine leather with your zip pocket. And then the other side has no pockets, just a little uh, paper residue. So there's the suede up top, the blue along all the edges, and snap closures in both sections. Beautiful Vittoria Napoli, $45. It will be extra if you want a strap though, but $45 is as is. Next, we have a crossbody by Fossil. Look at this little lady. So this is a crossbody bag. You can adjust it though to be a shoulder. It has gold tone hardware, it might even be brass. Um, it is a brown, it is in great condition. So it is um, more of a, a longer bag, tall bag I should say. There's your Fossil with the little key. There is a little mark here and like a couple little dark marks there. Other than that, she good. Okay, you have a zipper closure on the top. And your interior is one section, very clean. There's your fossil with your zip, card slots, and two slips. So really great fossil. I love the little keyhole on the front there. And we're gonna do this one for 45. 
Next up, I love this one, it's so cute. So I added this little poof. I thought it might look cute. This bag is by Tano, T-A-N-O. It is genuine leather, and you have the um, adjustable crossbody strap, silver tone hardware. Um, I think it's going to stay crossbody though. You can't really adjust it much shorter. Um, you have silver tone hardware. And because the bag was solid black, I had this purse charm that I thought would look really cute on it. It's super soft and pink. So if you don't want it, I can take it off, but I just thought it would be a little cute addition. The bag is in really excellent condition, super excellent all the way around. The inside is a um, zip closure and the inside is one compartment. Get this out. Okay, so here is the inside. There is your Tano right there. And it also has a little po zip pocket right under there. Okay, there's your interior, very clean with your Tano zip, zip pocket. I think it says, it says made in Italy on the um, pocket. I was trying to see what that said. Made in Italy, Italy, Tano. If you don't want this, let me know. I'll take it off. Otherwise, it stays. So T-A-N-O, $45. Next up, we have a Coach Brown shoulder bag. I love that hang tag. So this is a brown and brown on brown with the stripe, and you have the striped leather hang tag. Um, you have the brown leather shoulder strap. There are a couple little teeny, like little teeny scratches, like teeny tiny. I mean, that's really the biggest one is right there. So, but I just wanna point that out. Um, the top I had to um, condition, it was very, very dry. And there is one teeny little scratch, um, kind of like a scratch there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like one there, and one there. Minor things, but you guys know me, I'm super picky and I like to show you guys everything. So there's that. So it does have the pocket here in the front. And then you have your um, interior, which is a zipper closure. Oops. And then you have your zip pocket with, a, with the Creed and then slip over there. So for this Coach shoulder bag, I am going to do $45 as well because there were a couple little issues unless I'd probably be around 50 for that one. Very, very cute. Very different. Okay. Speaking of different, I have this other coach bag. Um, this is also a shoulder bag. This is beige and I added this, this coach right here because it did not have a hang tag. So this is your silver tone coach right here. And then this is like a pink leather little, um, you can put photos in it if you want. It has the coach there, or you can just leave it as is. Um, but as you can see, it matches the inside. <laughs> so you have the back pocket. There is a little mark there. Okay, there's the front. You have the coach here as well. Corners, very, very, very little rubbing. Handle is great. You got the big chunky hardware and silver tone. The underneath of the handle has a couple little rubs. I showed you, you have a back um, pocket and then the inside, you have that back section there. Very clean. Then you have the main compartment, which is also very clean. You have your Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips. So, couple little rubs on the exterior of the bag. Couple little rubs here and there, but nothing super major. I thought that this addition was really cute. Um, so for this one, we're also going to do $45. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're up here now. I have a brand new with tag. 
um, Tianello. This came from Macy's. It is so cute for the summer. It is a little handbag. Um, it does have these big chunk, this big chunky hardware if you wanted to add a longer strap. Um, it is a beautiful bright yellow leather. Um, beautiful hardware. Even though it does have the tag, it has a few teeny little issues. So on the bottom, right there, um, there is a little speck right there. Um, but it does have the pocket on both sides. Let me see if there was anything else. The handles are excellent. Hardware is excellent. Um, you know, corners are excellent. It just had that little spot on the back. I think that was it. I mean, on the bottom. So now your interior, you have this section here that you can pull closed to make it a squared off bag. Otherwise, it's more of a tote style. And then the inside, you have this back zipper pocket that has no pockets in it. And then you have the main compartment, which has a snap closure. And I did um, have to cross out the price that was right there because that store liked to ruin bags. So I do apologize for having to have a black mark there. Um, you have the zipper pocket Tianello with your slips. So, couple teeny little issues on this guy. It is new with tag though. Um, so I'm just gonna do 48 on it. Um, otherwise, it'd be a little bit more if it was perfect. So 48 on the Tianello, yellow. <laughs> All right, next up is this fun one. This is Betsy Johnson. This is so stinking cool. This is like a neon yellow. It is a crossbody. Um, probably not shoulder unless you want it a little bit longer. It does adjust though um, longer. Silver tone hardware. You do have the um, chain on the strap. It is new with tag. And look at it, it's a little juice box. These spideys are actually 3D, like they're, they're metal spiders or maybe plastic. Got the glitter on here, isn't that so cute? And then look at the side. <laughs> ingredients, apple juice and poison concentrate. The ingredients are up here are poison, candy, potions, wolf fangs, swamp water, and cobwebs. <laughs> So it's a little guy, it's faux leather. It has the um, plastic on the hardware still. It says 6.66 fluid ounces. You have the cute little straw. Um, it has a price of $98. The inside is one compartment. There's no um, pockets or anything. There's your Betsy Johnson. My phone does fit without a problem. So if you need a measurement though, just to make sure, let me know. So I will be doing this for half off the sticker price, which is $49. So cool, I love it, love it. All right, then we got, oh, I didn't put a price for the Calvin Klein, okay. So the, this is Calvin Klein. This is also brand new with the tag. This has $168 on the price tag. This is faux leather, Calvin Klein. It is a bucket bag. You have this nice meaty canvas black strap that you can adjust from crossbody to shoulder. It has the faux leather on the handle as well. It has this really cool, like, faux woven, is that a mark? No, it's just like a fold. Um, faux, like a faux woven. You have the really cool end caps there. So really nice. It is new with tag and in new condition. And the inside, not only do you have the drawstring, but you also have 
a flap over snap. And then the inside is one compartment. You do have your dust bag. And then the inside you have your zipper pocket and your slips. So very, very cool bag, love this one. You got the drawstring bucket bag and you got the nice thick strap. Um, Silvertone hardware, 168 on the tag. I will do this for 50. Let's do 50 on it. That's not even, it's less than half price. So 50 bucks on the Calvin Klein. I'll have to write that down. I don't have my pen with me. Let me write it in here. And then I lowered the, what I do, 25 on the Brooklyn? So 50 on the CK and then the wallet I lowered too. Okay. Next up we have this Michael Kors. This is a really cool shoulder bag. I love it. It's actually a very dark blue leather with the um, canvas beige and blue stripes. This is your Saffiano leather in, it looks like black, but it could be that dark blue too with the beige. And then you got the stripe. It's in really great condition. I um, shined up the leather, the back, really great. Handle, you got the gold tone hardware. Handle's in great shape. It is strictly a shoulder bag, a hobo. Um, and then there is just a little bit of wear on the front here. Push that down, open it up. You have all that leather on the back here. And then the inside, is one compartment. It does come with the certificate of authenticity. Authentic, I wanted to see, okay. And then the inside is, this one is a Michael by Michael Kors. Zip and slips, slips on the other side. Very clean, very clean. Okay, couple, just a couple little on the hard, hardware there, otherwise we're good. So on the Michael Kors Hobo, we are going to do 50, five zero. All right, and then we have this guy, speaking of Michael Kors, we have this big old lady. So she is brand new with the tag. You have your MK logo right here in gold tone. This I don't think is a Saffiano leather. This might be that um, polyurethane. Let me see. I don't know. But it is like an um, orange and brown and beige. Huge tote. So now it is in pretty new condition. There's just a teeny little mark um, you guys are probably not going to see it. It's right on the yellow right there. And then a little one on this side too. See it? So I don't know how this bag was stored or if it happened like at the store or what, but there's just a little bit on each corner. Otherwise it's fantastic. This is $298 on the price tag. Um, it has the handles have the reinforced leather on it and then the inside is one compartment. You have the protecting um, paper down there. You have your slip pocket that can be unbuttoned and taken out if you don't want to use that. I believe this is a Michael Kors collection. So if I take that out and show you guys the bottom, she's good. So um, because it does have a couple little marks on each of the corners, um, 
I'm gonna do this one for 90, nine zero. That's definitely less than half. Um, I think it's awesome. You can use it for the beach, work, whatever you would like, or if you just like big bags, you can't deny it. <laughs> so 90 on the Michael Kors tote. All right, next up we have another tote. So if you don't like Michael Kors, but you like Kate Spade, here you go. So this is a big um, fabric. I don't know what kind of fabric this is, but it is blue with the watermelons and the green Kate Spade at the bottom. This does not have the tag, but I do believe it is new without tag. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it that I've seen. It has the big, big handles on the top. The inside has no pockets or anything. So this is maybe like a beach bag or like a laundry. You wanna do laundry or something if you are going, you know, on a day trip or something, a nice weekender bag. So it is very large, as you can see. <laughs> so on this one, I'm just going to do $25, okay? The blue um, watermelon Kate Spade tote. Okay, then we have, oh, let me bring you guys closer. This beautiful purple leather matches my nails. Um, Ferenz, so that means Florence, Italy. It is a crossbody bag. You can adjust it to be shoulder. It has silver tone hardware. And actually, if you look at the, the um, stitching, it matches a little bit better my nails. <laughs> it has this really pretty ruching at the um, front and back. It's in really, really great condition all the way around. Um, the inside has a zipper closure and there is your branding with your zipper pocket and a leather slip pocket right there. Very clean, super cute, perfect for your essentials, purple Ferenz Florence and it is leather and it is $25. Speaking of purple and leather, we have this little Brighton. So this is a crossbody bag as well. You have the um, chain and leather in the strap here. Um, it does not adjust, but you can remove it so that it could be like a little pouch or clutch. Um, it is more of like a, that's like a dark purple. This is like a lighter purple like a burgundy almost. And it does have some rhinestones here on the front. They're all there. It has rhinestones up here. It is in really excellent condition. So you have the little pocket here with the with your, oh, it even has rhinestones on the back. So you're gonna open that up. There's that inside, there's your Brighton right there. And then you have the main compartment, which is a zipper closure, very clean. So now my phone does not fit in here, okay? This section here measures six and a half by five inches, six and a half by five inches. So if you want your phone to fit in there, it has to be smaller than those measurements. So for this Brighton, I'm also going to do $25. Next up we have, okay, so I went to a like vendor fair kind of thing and they had a bunch of denim bags. So if you have not been watching other YouTubers or seeing trends on, on TV, online about all the different um, trends for this year, 2024, also Louis Vuitton did a denim launch where they have a whole denim line now and a lot of the bag designers are doing that as well. So I found this one vendor who had a ton of denim bags. So I picked a few out for you guys. I actually picked one out for me too. So I'll show you which one and then we can be twins if you want. So the first one up, now these are all new. They just don't have any tags or anything. So they are new but without the tag. So the first one up 
is this one. So now this one is an acid wash denim. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can take it out, to, um, adjust it to be a crossbody. So this has kind of like that acid wash to it. It is pretty big, okay? If you need a measurement, let me know. Um, it has a top zip. And then the interior is one compartment. It does have a pocket on each side. There's one pocket there. There's the other pocket there, okay? And of course, if you don't have it as stuffed, it can be more of like a slouchy bag. So the acid wash is $30. Then I have the same thing in a dark denim. And this one I have elongated a little bit more like a crossbody bag. I wanted to keep one of these, I wanted to keep the acid, one, uh, acid wash for myself, but it's just too big of a bag for me. So I will not be having one of these, but you have the um, dark wash, same thing, silver tone hardware, you can adjust it shoulder to crossbody. These are all unbranded but they are all new without tag. And this is the same thing. This has the pocket on either side. Okay, so this one, the dark denim is also $30. Then we have really cute bucket bags. So the first one up, let me just grab this guy too, okay. So I did get one of these for myself. This is the light denim though. I got a darker denim. This is a light denim crossbody with faux leather. It does adjust. You can make it um, shoulder bag. It has gold tone hardware. I love the, oh, and you can remove the strap if you wanted something different. I love the like distressed of the um, denim. So like I said, they are new without tags. So you have the drawstring closure and then you also have a snap closure. And the inside has no pockets. So whoever gets this one, we will be twinning except mine's just a little bit darker. And these are all going to be 25. So this is the light denim bucket bag, $25. And then we have a dark denim with brown so this has a brown faux leather adjustable and removable shoulder strap or crossbody strap they are all new without tag all right it has the drawstring closure and the snap closure dallas there is nobody here <laughs> and no pockets on the inside. So again, $25, that is the dark denim with brown. Then I have black denim. So this one is black faux leather strap, gold tone, adjustable and removable. Okay, new without tag, new condition, drawstring closure and snap closure. There's nobody here. I'm sorry, but there's not. And no pockets. So again, this one, $25, black denim. All right, that was all the denim. So um, I hope you guys like those. I love them. Like I told you, I kept one for myself. My sister wants the black one, so I have to go see if I can find that lady and get um, another black one for her. Cause I'm, I'm like, look, I gotta offer my subscribers. <laughs> She's like, I want it. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so let's keep going. And I have this beautiful Anushka. So these are the hand painted leather. This is a crossbody. Um, it does not adjust, but it does remove because this is kind of like one of those wallets on a chain type of deal. It is like a taupe leather with this beautiful blue and green flower um, painted. 
There is the Anushka on the top there. You have a back zipper pocket and a slip pocket. The bottom and corners are in really great shape. Um, where did I see? There is a little bit of the paint starting to wear, but it's nothing major. The front section here, it has all of this. All right, guys, it's a lot. So you have the slip here. Um, I guess you would hold it like this. So you have all these here with the um, ID spots. This can come out if you want it to be like your check section. And it has two slots on each side. And then you keep flipping. Now in here, see maybe it does go that way. Some of these are ripped in here. Not all of them, but some of them. So you just gotta be careful and look at that before you put your card in there. Um, so you got all this, okay? And then you have the back here, which you can fit a phone, okay? Mine, I w mine fits, but I would have to take off my pop socket but it does fit in there. Um, so there's just that little issue with some of those card slots being um, ripped. So for that, <laughs> this, this style bag on online is going for $50 and up. Um, because it has a couple of those ripped slip pockets, I will just do this for 30, okay? Really cool bag, love Anushka. Okay, so before we get into the littles, let's um, show the ordering instructions and we'll keep going. Okay guys, most importantly, please check that sold list. You'll know if something's available if you check the list, but please remember to refresh it. So when you're done watching, just go out of the video and come back in and you can, it'll refresh the sold list for you. You can do that as many times as you want and you'll see it updating. Okay, so we're on to the littles. And up first, I have a brand new with tag, Rebecca Minkoff. And it is this adorable, so beautiful gold, look at that, gold iridescent leather with the um, gunmetal studs. It is a wristlet. It is brand new with the tag. It is originally... $65. You can use this for your toiletries or as a actual clutch. I love the iridescence in it. There might be a little mark right there. Rebecca Minkoff down there. You have the zipper on top and the inside has your Rebecca Minkoff and no pouches, no pockets, but you do have your little care, care book. So for the brand new with tag Rebecca Mink off um, wristlet, we are going to do $32. That is half off the sticker price. And it does obviously come with the dust bag. $32 on that. Then we have a new in the box Juicy Couture set. So it comes with a wristlet and wallet. So it is faux leather. It's black faux leather. It comes with a cute little bow, little twilly bow. You have a front pocket. It is new with tag and in new condition. It has gold tone little studs on the top. This is gonna be hard to do because it's all attached. <laughs> um, the inside you have some card slots and nothing on the other side. And then your wallet up here, it has that embroidery just like on the wristlet. And it is a more like a little card wallet with all your card slots. Okay, so new in box and new with tag, new condition. You can actually take the cover off and 
put it together as a gift. So for the Juicy Couture, we are going to do $30. Let's put you over here. Oh, right there is good. All right, then we have, this is new with tag. This is a Michael Kors Jet Set Travel Phone Crossbody with Card Holder in Primrose Leather. So it's all brand new. All right, it is a crossbody. It can be adjusted. It has a gold tone hardware. Um, you have the front section. Hold on, I just sneeze. <coughs> So sorry. Front section here um, that will hold your phone. So let me, now remember, mine has a case and a pop socket. So yeah, I'll prob I would probably have to take off my pop socket, but it does fit. I just would, I would take off a pop socket so I can make sure it fits better. And I have a big old 13 Pro Max. So there's that. It has the Michael Kor logo on it. The other side has your card slots and a zipper pocket here if you want to put your um, cash. And it does come with all of your paperwork. This is so cute if you are like traveling all day and you don't want to carry a lot of stuff. You carry your phone, cards, cash, and you can take your key chain and clip it on here if you want. This does unclip, so you can, if you don't have a clip on your keychain, you can literally just unclip this, clip your keys on it, and then clip this back down. All right, so this um, we're going to do for $50, five zero, okay? Next up, now I know the box is a little messed up, but I have a brand new in the box Christian Dior pouch in a like peach Christian Dior. It's a fabric, it has a silver tone hardware. Okay, really cute for your, your purse or travel. I will give you the box. I'm sorry that it got crushed. It got crushed being sent to me because the person didn't put it in any protective box. They just shoved it in a poly bag. So um, this peach Christian Dior pouch, $20. Next up, we have a Kate Spade wallet. This um, is snake print and it has, it's supposed to have some gold metallic to it. It has kind of worn a little bit, but I think it's still in really, you know, usable condition. You have a pocket on the back. There is the teeniest little bit of rubbing on the corners. It's nothing major. Um, the spade, Kate Spade up here has a couple little scratches. The pull is in really great condition. Along the edges is just a maybe teeny little bit of dirtiness, not anything serious. And the inside is really nice. All leather. You have, um, there is a little bit of rubbing on the leather, but you have all those slots. You have the zipper slot there with all the interior spots. And then you have more card slots there. So for this one, I'm only gonna do $15, okay? Because there are a couple little issues with it, 15. All right, then we're going to flip the page one last time and do this. So this one's really cool. This is also Kate Spade. This is a black leather wallet, but check this out. It's a little sneaky peeky little wristlet. So you can slip this all the way in if you do not want to use it as a wristlet or you can have it as a wristlet. 
Um, it does have a little bit of color loss on the gold tone, not terrible, and a little bit on the back. But other than that, she's in great shape. You lift this up here, open it up, and you got a lot going on in this little lady. So you've got all those slots here, 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 all of these, zipper. I mean, there's even one back there. Okay, so a lot going on in here. And like I said, you can slip the wristlet in if you don't wanna use it. So for the Kate Spade black leather, $25. Then we have the Coach Wallet. This is in black patent leather. It's in really great shape. There's just a little bit of gold tone loss on the edge right there. You have a back pocket. Excellent on the corners. <clears throat> Blue leather interior, you have your coach down here. And there's very little wear. There's like a little bit of rubbing, but other than that, it's pretty nice. So you got some slots here, you got all these card slots, and then all of this, okay? So minor issues with this one, only a few. And we'll do the uh, coach wallet for 20, black patent leather and blue. Then we have a Coach wristlet. This one has a silver leather strap, wristlet strap. You have your yellow leather hang tag. This one's in excellent condition. It's got the multicolor C's all over the place. <clears throat> and the inside is like a blush. Excellent condition. All the way around. So this one we're gonna do for 20 as well. So please make sure you let me know if it's the wallet or the wristlet since they are both the same price. Then we have a Dooney, Dooney and Burke Lizard embossed leather in brown, gold tone hardware, really great condition. This one's actually in really nice condition. There's a little bit of lightening on the leather on the edges, but as you can see, it's not anything terrible and there's no damage. You have a pocket on the back Okay, beautiful. Opens up like this. Got your Dooney down there. All these card slots, slot, slot. Look how nice and clean in there. More slots, you got a zipper pocket here. A Little bit of residue from coins. And then you have your slip, uh, cash slot up here. Overall, very clean. So for the Dooney wallet, we are going to do $40, four zero. Next up, we have the sack. This is brand new with the tag. It is suggested retail, $69. It is leather. Um, it is a little like keychain if you wanna use it as that or just a card holder. You have all these card slots here. And on the back, all here. Then you have the zip around on top, which you can put your cash in. All right, so brand new with the tag, still has the paper on it, purple, different shades of purple leather. I'm gonna do this one for 20 bucks. That's less than half off the price on the tag. Then we have a Michael Kors wallet in gray Safiano leather. It is a wristlet if you would like. You can take this off if you don't want that on there. Silver tone hardware. Everything is really great about this wallet except, see the person that sold this to me did not show this. Somebody had their name there and then I guess the seller tried to take it off. So you can still see a little bit of the name right here. I don't even know what it says. It looks like Lily something. But this was not disclosed, so I gave her a bad review um, that she needs to... <laughs> Let me not go there. Okay, so Michael Kors, Silver Tone. Other than that, it's in really great condition. Um, but she said that this wallet 
had no flaws. So to me, that's a flaw. Anyways, so you got all these card slots, slot, slot, more. And then you have this section, which has a zipper compartment and slot, slot for cash if you want. It is all very clean. That's just a little, oh, that's a thread in there. I can get that off, that thread right there. So it is in excellent condition. It's just got that name that someone tried to remove on the back. So, um, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. I wish people would be honest. All right, let's get into the shoes. So we have a couple pairs of shoes. Let's do the first pair. They are a pair of Uggs. I have these in black. So if you buy them, we will be twinning. Mine has the buttons though, the big, three buttons. These are brown. These are actually in really good condition. They are like right under the knee probably. These are a size nine. Very little wear to the soles. I checked the shirt shearling on the inside. Looks really good. I do disinfect all the shoes. Um, so these size nine, $35. Then we have this really cool pair of Donald Pliner shoes. Look at these. They are like a gold and black crackled leather, like metallic leather. If I was still working in the doctor's office, I would so rock these. These are a size eight, look at the bottoms. Um, hardly worn. They have the gunmetal hardware zipper on the sides. Super nice condition, super unique little booties in a gold and black crackle leather, size eight, really nice condition, inner zip closures, and size eight, I'm gonna do these for 30. These are really stinking cool. Next up, we have a pair of Brighton flats. So all my Brighton bag lovers, if you want a pair of flats to match, here you go. So these are black leather. They have some shoe boogers I will get out of there. I'll re-clean that. Um, silver tone hearts. They are the scrunch back. I clean them up. They've only been worn a few times. These are size seven. Nice, soft black leather. And I will do these for 20 bucks. And lastly, I don't know if these are anybody's cup of tea, but I bought them really to list, but I will offer them to you guys first. I know the heel might be kind of high for you guys. It's high for me. It's a size, um, it's a three and a half inch heel, but these are um, Lucky Brand. And look at how pretty these are. Like on the foot, this is gonna be so gorgeous. These are a size six. This is leather, all leather. Oh, how cute are these gonna look in the spring and summer? Um, size six, three and a half inch heel, all leather. I did condition the leather. Back zip closures. Lucky brand, size six, and 20 bucks if anybody's interested. So, all right, that's everything. Let's get into the America's Thrift Supply box. This is not very heavy, so I'm a little nervous. So, I still have my code. Um, I had mentioned to you guys that when I reached out to um, the manager over there that gave me this code um, to renew for the new year, he said that they will, they have no plan to ever discontinue my code, so please feel free at americasthriftsupply.com at checkout when they ask for promo or discount code. If you type in Kristen, you have to spell it right, you will save 15% on every, every purchase that you make. So no matter how many purchases you make, doesn't matter, you'll save 15%. Um, and I don't get anything out of that. The only thing I get is to use my own code. <laughs> so let's see what we got. This is the five piece name brand handbag rescue box. Well, they call it brand name, I think. 
I ordered this on February 2nd and with my 15% um, off plus they did lower their shipping. So they were up at $12.99 for shipping. They went back down to $9.99. So my total is $48.23 for five purses and I got my 15% off code. Um, usually they will give you more than five if one is like super flawed or something like that. So let's see. That does not look good right off the bat. That is a Rosetti. Not that they're bad bags, they just don't resell for anything. But this one is very cute for the summer. Look at this. It has the whole denim canvas kind of thing going on here. So it is faux leather in a tan, silver tone hardware that you can adjust shoulder to crossbody. At least it's in good shape. So it's got the blue and white, it's more like a beige um, canvas stripe really great condition you have a zipper pocket on front good a snap pocket good zipper on top let's make sure it closes right okay we're good on that so yeah i mean this is in really great shape so you got the zipper pocket here and then you got your slips over there so this would be really cute if you're going on vacation or to the beach and you don't want to like wreck anything nice that you have this is a good one so let's just do it for 18 bucks. Can't be too mad at that, right? It's in good shape. Let's see what this is. All right, this is knotted because somebody wanted it to be more of a shoulder bag. What is it though? Okay, it's a new day, so it is not leather. It's cute though. It's got like the drawstring sides. It is in like a... Um, I wouldn't say it's white, maybe like a off-white ivory, but it does look like it's in good condition. It looks actually in really good condition. Um, it has gray on the interior, and it just has some spots down at the bottom, right there. No pockets. Where's my phone? Phone fits, no problem. I mean, it's actually a really cool style bag. You have the drawstring closure and the magnet. So, not bad. Gold tone chain. 12 bucks? <laughs> Let's take another look. It doesn't look too, um, like, exciting, but let's see. This is a Vera Bradley. It is blue and it is a little tote. Um, it definitely has some fading on the corners. It has a pocket on each side. It is a little, a little tote, a little guy. Zipper closure. Um, I mean, it's a little dirty. You got your zipper pocket and then you got a, a little doo doo spot right there. So I'll try to clean that up, but we'll do 10 on this one. Another Rosetti, but again, it doesn't look like it's in terrible condition. Um, black faux leather, silver tone hardware, adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. This is in a black and gray. It's, it has a slight, very slight, like musty basement odor. A little bit of Febreze and you should be fine. Um, two pockets here on the front and then you got a zip pocket. Good on the back, zip closure on top, good. And then the inside's good. So you got the zip pocket and your slip. So again, we'll do 18 on this one. I guess this is not very exciting. This one is cute though, I will admit. This Vera Bradley is very cute. So this one is a cheetah print adjustable shoulder to crossbody silver tone hardware it's in um tan brown and black black uh black faux leather you got a zipper pocket here it is a little dirty in there i'll wipe that out um two slip pockets this pocket is good nothing in there 
making sure all the zips work. The back has a pouch pocket, good. Corners are good. Zipper on top is good. And inside looks good. There's a zipper pocket and that's it. So not bad, a little dirty, but I don't see any stains or anything really wrong with it. So let's do this one for 20 bucks. And last but not least, what are you, a Talbots? So not very exciting. However, everything is in good shape at least. Um, this would have been cute for Valentine's Day. This is pink. This is like a fuchsia pink. No, it's pink. It's coming off more red on camera. It's pink. Um, pink and green. Maybe that's a spot right there. Bottom and corners look good. Handle looks good. Maybe, maybe it needs to be wiped down. But I think we're all right. Zipper closure. And the inside's clean. Very clean. Zip and slips. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not exciting. So, we'll do 20 bucks on this one, too. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. So they gave me an extra one, I guess, because maybe they figure it was kind of like a mm, box. <laughs> but that was everything. So like I said, not terrible, but not exciting either. I'll take it. I can definitely make my money back with a little bit of profit at least. All right, so that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about the America's Thrift Supply Box. Did you have a favorite purse of the haul? Uh, make sure you're giving me that thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe. It's totally free. You can even press that bell notification next to it to all and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. So thank you again and we will see you in the next one.